football season starts in the South earlier than anywhere else. You got media days starting middle of July, and uh, people here are already dying for it. You know, they can't wait to talk football. They can't wait to see the players and the coaches all converge at the hotel, and you get the fans downstairs with things to sign and cheering for Nick Saban. And it's different than anywhere else. That's for sure. When you're approaching it, you're going, "How can this be football season?" Until you walk through those doors. It's a way of life in this portion of the country, and I think, uh, as the saying goes, rising tide lifts all boats. The rising tide of the SEC, the rising tide of the passion of the fans in Alabama and all across the southeastern portion of the country have lifted the entire sport of college football. And I promise you, we all need to thank them because it's the greatest game on the planet because of it. You're going to get some news. You're going to try to get some facts. But there's also going to be some crazy things, whether it's Dan Mullion wearing Yeezy boosts or Brett Bielema wearing Air Force Ones. Of course, Furry will throw a jab at Arkansas and Tennessee like he always does. Um, if he didn't interject some of his Furrierisms, I like to call them, if he didn't say some of those things at Media Days, it wouldn't be what it is today. The media circus is fueled by the sensational. But as each team takes center stage, what begins to emerge are the storylines that will play out in the SEC all season long.